The most talked about race in Dallas County is for District Attorney, Republican and former Judge Susan Hawk is trying to unseat Democrat and two-term DA Craig Watkins. Fox 4 is Natalie Solis and, Solis and Calvert Collins are covering this race. All right, Natalie, let's start with you. Watkins hasn't really done a whole lot of campaigning this time around. What's going on? All right, well, Steve, I am told, though, today that he was out at polling stations, and it has been a very long couple of days for him. Uh, he decided also to take in, uh, squeeze in a nap, rather, but he is not talking to reporters, and neither is anyone from his camp this afternoon. We do know that he is going to be watching election results come in at a building just on the other side of his campaign office, uh, part of a, a family business. And uh, only close family and friends will be there with him. And this is definitely a departure uh, from a big fancy watch party in Victory Park where we found him in 2010. Now, this is a neck and neck race uh, for Watkins uh, and his challenger, Susan Hawk, a former prosecutor and district judge. Watkins seeking his third four year term as Dallas County DA. Uh, he was basically a rock star when he first took office, the first African-American Dallas County DA riding a wave of Democrats sweeping local offices. Watkins went on to gain recognition and admiration largely for his initiatives like exonerating the wrongly convicted. But it has been a rough couple of years for Watkins, filled with controversies, most recently strong criticism for spending public money to settle a car accident that he caused last year. Now, I am told that Watkins will be running uh, on his record, like creating a conviction integrity unit, as well as a civil rights task force. But this has been a very tough race for him. He has only been able to raise a fraction of what he raised uh, for the 2010 race, his wife, Tanya, running his campaign. And I am told that we should not expect to see or hear from him until all the election results are in. Steve? Could be tight. Uh, Natalie, he won by 5,000 votes in 2010, and we're told early voting in Dallas County is down 5%. One of the only North Texas counties actually down in early voting. Natalie, thanks. Let's go to Calvert Collins, who will be with a Hawk camp tonight. Calvert. Yes, Steve, they're expecting at least uh, several dozen people that were told capacity here at Mezzo Maya Mexican restaurant in Uptown is 135 and they've reserved the entire second floor. They're going to watch election results and uh, as they hope celebrate a win. In fact, if Susan Hawk won, it would be a historic victory, making her the first female prosecutor in Dallas County history. 44 year old Hawk was a decorated prosecutor with a 98% conviction rate before becoming a judge in the 291st District Court. She won re-election twice as a Republican and as a Democrat, but then stepped down to run against Watkins for DA. In her 12 years on the bench, she pioneered programs that diverted mentally ill defendants out of prisons and into existing programs where they could be rehabilitated. She has seven capital murder convictions among 150 trials and was named the 2002 Prosecutor of the Year by the Greater Dallas Crime Commission. And she has spent many of the last few weeks at polling places, early uh, voting locations, introducing herself to voters, many who might not have seen her, maybe have just seen her ad, so finally got getting to meet her. As well, we should mention she got a big endorsement from the Dallas Police Association. Many of those uh, cops are out campaigning on her behalf, which is uh, something we see, but typically uh, on the Democratic side. And uh, this would be definitely an upset if a Republican wins a big county seat in Dallas. 